Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to this week's episode of what I've been playing, what I've been watching and what I've been reading, Bambino. Um, yes, yeah, so what have we been playing? I, I don't think I've played much. Uh, <laughs> the end of the video. No, um, yeah, so I haven't played as much as I normally do. I don't know why, you know, sometimes you don't feel like playing much, do you? I haven't watched much and I haven't read much, but uh, so it should be quite a short video unless I rumble on. Uh, yes, yeah, so what have I been playing then? I was started the week quite positive with uh, Watch Dogs Legion. Can't remember if I spoke about this, but I really liked it, okay? Uh, bought it brand new from C, not from uh, Amazon. It's already gone, it's traded in, traded in yesterday, right? So my experience with it was brilliant. Openings cutscene is brilliant. London, brilliant in the future, brilliant. I had a few tiny issues with it. It wasn't busy enough, but uh, I make up excuses then. I say, oh, it's not busy because of curfew, it's the future, it's whatever. So I, I can accept all that. Then um, I, oh, I loved the story. It was a side mission, something to do with assassins. Of course, Ubisoft uh, and Assassin's Creed, they own... They own both franchises they Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. And I thought, brilliant. So they were going down. My favourite Assassin's Creed is Syndicate, obviously set in London as well. So it was like, um, go to this like underground cavern with, and then you see these statues of uh, Evie, Evie and Jacob Fry. I thought, oh, this is awesome. I was hooked, right? And then... Um, you got your drone and then you got to use your drone to unlock these things and you unlock these things then you got to climb up no problems there but then you had to like a bit of platforming should be nice and easy jump wasn't working it was like 50 percent of the time and i thought fuck i was about half hour trying this i because it was such a good story normally i went after the third or fourth go i'd go gone get the game gone uh give it about half hour Went to work, stopped playing it that night, went to work the next day. Thought, no, I'll give it another go. I didn't uninstall it or anything. Same thing again. I was getting a little bit further, further, and it was like, put me right back to the beginning. I thought, I can't be fucking bothered. So I got pretty much about 50 pence less than I paid for it for trading, store credit in CEX yesterday. So that game's gone. Um, I played um, a couple of digital games. I really enjoyed it. I did one playthrough of Resogun. If you haven't played Resogun, I think it's a digital only game. It's brilliant. If you're half into your shmups, it's probably my favourite. Yeah, it is my favourite shmup of all time. It's a short game. Most of the shmups are, aren't they? It's about no longer than half hour. I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm playing it for long. Maybe it is a long game. I don't know. Um, I love the, the game mechanics. The controls are tight as fuck. Uh, yes, yeah, so I played that. I really, really enjoyed my playthrough of that. My advice if you're going to play that game, put your headphones on. Play it through the headphones because the sound effects and the music is really, really good, okay? Uh, I also have had a ton of fun with the Contra collection. I bought that on sale. It was in sale. Just finished the sale. I think 26th it finished, like Wednesday, I think. Um, I playing the Contra collection, really enjoying Alien Wars, that was my favourite one, my uh, my go-to, uh, playing a bit of the Game Boy one, it's really funny because the pace is so slow, you can see the bullets move about that fast, whereas in all the other Contras it's pretty quick, you don't, sometimes you don't, because there's so much going on on the screen, you don't see the bullets until like literally they're right in front of you. Um, yeah, re really good collection that is. Um, I'm not sure how many games, eight games on there for three ninety nine. I think it's normally fifteen ninety nine. That's a fair price, but for three ninety nine, it's an absolute bargain. It's got the two arcade games, the SNES, two versions of uh, Contra Three, so the American and the UK version. Uh, Pro Protector we had in the UK. It's got Super C. Uh, the NES version, even the Mega Drive versions, and then the Game Boy versions. Yeah, it's a lot of fun uh, on one collection, you know. Uh, so if I'm I'm in an R in, or say I was fed up with, uh, for example, Watch Dogs Legion, I'll just play some fucking Contra. I don't like ever turning my PlayStation off in anger. Do you know what I mean? I try to, 
uh, or sometimes another one I play is Capcom vs SNK2. A couple of rounds of that, and my mood comes right back up, you know. Yeah, so that's what I've been playing digital. Uh, I played uh, Tekken 7, played that on Tuesday. We played this live. It's one of my first, I think it's the second time I've ever gone live. Um, we had, so thank you everyone that came out to uh, check it out. I know it wasn't the best gameplay or live stream event. It's not going to change your life. I had a couple of technical difficulties, but I'm still learning, guys, okay? I was, there was like a delay in the audio, it was echoing. Um, but what I'd, what I'd done, right, to check the audio was okay. First of all, I started off with my microphone, then I realised... It sounded better without the microphone because my new phone's got a good, must have a good built-in microphone on it. Um, so I was using the other camera, not the camera facing. It was the front camera I was using and that must have a good microphone. Uh, and I had my iPad running the stream like on another account to make sure where it sounded and looked okay, you know. But then, of course, I could, I was talking and like about 10 seconds or 5 to 10 seconds later, the audio was coming through. So it sounded like it was echoing but no i had to uh turn that volume down and so i could see the chat because the chat that's on the phone again i'm not this is all new to me i it, it only comes up really quickly and then it goes but i can't see like when i'm watching a live stream it looks different uh if that makes any sense so on my ipad that's what i was using it for so i'll probably do another live stream uh what's it called tony's tech on tuesday uh, I'm not sure of the time, probably be 7 o'clock, maybe 8, eight o'clock, no, it'll be 8 o'clock probably, but I'll let you know, I'll do a quick uh, short to let you know on Tuesday, okay, but uh, yeah, I had a ton of fun with this, we messed around with the character creation, because uh, I've unlocked pretty much all the movies, the demo, not the demos, the, the cutscenes and all the artwork, I've already unlocked that, so um, I did a couple of uh, story modes, or arcade modes. Uh, then I went in and like uh, dressed up, got my fashion uh, knowledge to good use, let's say. I uh, actually did used to work, I know I don't look like. Mind you, I got some fucking good merch on today. Uh, this this is brand new, I'll, uh, I'll do a pickups video on what that is. Um, really good hoodie this is, I'm very happy with it. Anyway, going back to what I've been playing. Um, yeah, so I mess around with the ca customization, character customization, and then take the character for a spin to see how they look. You know, it was good fun. And yeah, so thank you everyone that uh, watched, and even bigger thank you um, to everyone that commented as well. And uh, Ren from Great Men taking over the world. Uh, shout out Ren. Uh, he, me, uh, Starstruck, he's my favourite YouTube channel, and uh, yeah, he's a really nice guy actually, so uh, even he took time out of his busy day to uh, check out uh, Tony's Tech on Tuesday, the place to be on a Tuesday. Um, what else have I played? We played this earlier on today, uh, shout out Chris came over today, he had a go of uh, Team Samurai, and I think, let me know, let us know in the comments Chris, did you, did I convert you? Did you, uh, did you bite the bullet and pick it up? I think he left on a positive. I'm, I'm like a drug pusher. I push Chris to, uh, to buy, to spend his money, his hard-earned money on uh, DLC. But it's uh, Sam, Sam showdown, you know. So uh, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Yeah. So Chris had a go at that, and I did. This is the game that I played with. Um, SNK Sunday. I went as I'm trying to find the perfect King of Fighters team. So King, she's definitely going to be in it. I went Nakaruru, and I experimented with Billy Kane. So I don't know if Kane is better than Vanessa or Whip. Uh, but then I did after I recorded. I took uh, Geese Howard for a spin. He's pretty badass, man. He's known for being badass, but not normally like Capcom versus SNK two. I he's not my I can't, I'm not good enough to play as him, let's say, but uh, yeah, I was, could pull off one or two of his moves, and he looks cool as fuck, doesn't he? So maybe next week I'll do another SNK Sunday starring King of Fighters 15, maybe Geese Howard will appear, but we will prefer, we will find out the best, uh, the world's best team, I would call it Team Tony, do you know what I mean? Because my name's Tony. Hi, pleased to meet you. <laughs> uh, right, that's what I've been playing, but what is installed today, just, I've been too fucking busy. Um, Battlefield 5, 
look at the graphics on that. I haven't played uh, played it, but it was same old thing. When you buy a game, I don't know how old, a year or a couple of years old. Whenever you buy a game, it's a year old or, or older. Installs pretty quick. So from the disc to the console on the PS5, pretty quick. But then it's ready to play. Then it's the update. So they've obviously updated it. So I don't know, maybe it was buggy when it first came out. I don't know anything about this game, you know. I think some people had problems with um, the fact that women were fighting in the war. Um, it's only a video game, guys. Do you know what I mean? It's not, uh, it's not a historical document. There aren't going to be historians in the future looking, oh... This woman here, she where's her medal of honor? Do you know what I mean? It's just a video game, so don't take these things too seriously, you know. But I am looking forward to. If I get time, what time is it? It's half past six as a film in this video. I'll try and play uh, at least a mission of that tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that, you know. So that's what I've been playing. Okay, uh, what have I been watching? I didn't watch a lot, okay, because um, sorry if I sound like I'm whinging, broken record. I had a ear infection all last week. And it was really, I struggled in work, trying to talk to the boys. I couldn't hear anything in this year. And it felt like this year, because it was doing all the work, this year started to close up or somebody was getting tired. It was like, oh, I'm too tired, doing all the work. Um, that's how the body works, isn't it? So, uh, and I was working on the Monday. I when It was the worst. I had to work on the front desk. So talking, they only like right in front of me. I was talking on the desk to all the customers. And it was like, I shouldn't be on you. I'm like, I'm half deaf, like, do you know what I mean? But uh, we got through it, do you know what I mean? Um, it was quite funny looking back, how little I could hear. Uh, yeah, so uh, I didn't watch much. I didn't watch any Ghost in the Shell because um, I, I I, wouldn't enjoy it, you know, because of my, my hearing. Uh, but I have watched, I struggled to sleep. So on my iPad, I got some really good movies on iTunes. So I watched, I'm not exaggerating, probably the 70 to 100th time Shin Godzilla. It's such a, I don't know why, It's a, for me, it's a relaxing movie. And it, it helps me sleep. So I'm talking like three, four in the morning, you know, and you just can't not sleep, like, do you know what I mean? Like maybe Rossi, my dog, wanted to go out the back. So I took him out the back. Then when I come back to bed, I just can't sleep. I got like two or three hours before I got to get to go to work. So I, Shin Godzilla and the next thing I'm going to talk about works a treat. So I watched that over two nights because I've every night I struggle to sleep. And the other thing I watched on my iPad was um, so I'm laughing at the thing as after this. So the other thing I watched on my iPad was Star Wars Episode One with the commentary on. Oh, that's so relaxing. Star Wars Episode One, love or hate it, uh, I love it. It's one of my favourite Star Wars uh, movies of all time. Might do my top three Thursday. Next, I've already filmed this week, so this coming Thursday. But I might do my next one on. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see it. Top three Star Wars locations you'd want to visit. So if they're all real, you're going to spend a vacation. Uh, where would you want to go, basically? So um, yeah, most of my favourite locations would probably be in Episode One. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I again, I must have watched. I watched Star Wars episode. I watched the original trilogy and the prequels probably a hundred times. I know I've watched episode four well over a hundred times in my lifetime. Uh, and the other thing I watched, right? I don't know why I watched it. I thoroughly enjoyed it, though. Who remembers Tailspin, the cartoon growing up? Apparently there was only one season, but I remember I used to watch it all the time. So it's like um, it's like the cast of Jungle Book, those cartoon characters now. Imagine they're cast in a show that uh, the main guy's flying like um, an aeroplane. I think it's, it's basically they deliver cargo basically around their island tropical island that they live and there's like uh, air pirates and stuff like that and it's it, it was the dog's bollocks back it was my favourite cartoon growing up at one point before I uh, was introduced to the Ninja Turtles I loved it and uh, yeah and I didn't know it was on Disney so I thought yeah let's watch this and I just really really enjoyed it uh, proper nostalgia couldn't remember anything about episode one, but then it slowly started coming back to me then. The theme tune was a bit creepy though, I thought. 
Um, yes, I watched that. But then I've also watched, been watching a lot of um, YouTube. I've watched a lot of YouTube this week. I'm a big YouTube fan, okay? Um, so I'll do two shout-outs now. I'll try and tag the channels. They might appreciate it, they might not. They might say, well, what are you tagging me for? But um, I, the two standout uh, videos I've watched this week, one, I just mentioned him, Ren, off Great Men Taking Over the World. Uh, I forgot, Bay I haven't got a Nintendo Switch, but Bayonetta 3 just came out, and Ren got this really cool... Um, so Ren from the channel is, check it out, Great Men Taking Over the World. And then there's Great Men Streams, where Ren does live streams as well, much better than mine. Um, he's got like the professional setup, he's not just using his camera. Um, but yeah, in this video, uh, it stood out, it's got the um, the cameras facing down, you know, like I do when I'm doing my read my magazines, that kind of style. Uh, and it got a really cool um, Bayonetta 3, and it's got like, it thought it was like, at first, it looked like it was the trilogy were in there. But it had cases, because of the style of the case, the artwork on the Switch case, it had a case for Bayonetta 1 and a case for Bayonetta 2, as well as Bayonetta 3, and that was a reversible cover on Bayonetta 3. Um, yeah, really good, um, really good lighting, the audio, everything, he knows what he's doing, he's been doing it a long time. So yeah, shout out Ren, uh, go check out that channel. And how I discovered this channel, it's another big channel, okay, is the guy's name is um, Alex Labour, Labour, I think. Um, again, it's Alex, or A-L-E-X, and it's Labour, is L-E-Y-B-A. And he did an interview, a couple of interviews, but it was recommended, maybe I've watched a Terminator 2 documentary recently or something, but he interviewed uh, Edward Furlong. And I've always been a fan of Edward Furlong, okay? He is funny as fuck. He had, obviously, his breakout role, everybody knows, is Terminator 2. And uh, I loved him in, I've got the itch to watch American History X, I've watched it for so long. He was brilliant in that. He looks... It looks like he's not trying, but that's how good an actor he is. He's just like, as if he's real. Then he plays all his parts. Um, I'm not sure how many films he's done, but he doesn't do bad films, do you know what I mean? Or his part. Um, like American History X, um, Edward Norton was in it. That's a really good, strong co-star of the movie, you know. But um, anyway, yeah, so this uh, Alex Labour... Call it Alan Lee. Sorry if I'm mis if you ever what you want, but um, he's like um, from discovering his channel. He's the movie version of me with my video games. So he loves collecting Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that. He does like this is my collection and top ten. But he's just so we can tell. I like I hope you can tell how passionate I am, especially with fighting games. Uh, I love fighting games. Um, I, I literally, that's why I wanted to set up a YouTube channel and an Instagram account, you know, um, to share my love of uh, fighting games. But yeah, he's the a version of me. I'm not saying I look like the guy. He's a much more handsome person than me. But he's, um, yeah, he's interviewing Edward Furlong. And he's just got this chemistry. You can tell he's really like Edward Furlong. He must, he must be nervous, uh, this Alex guy. Uh, he's only young, I think he's mid to early 20s, but he does really well, and he's like, it's like, he's in like Comic Con or some kind of convention or something, you can tell because there's a lot of background noise and people are saying hi to Edward and stuff like that, but it's like, as if he knew the guy, he, he, he had that rapport with him straight away, and he had Edward Furlong was mess the the banter that guy's got right. He one of the interviews he didn't look very good, but he talks about his drugs and he he's very like self aware. That's why one of the things I like about Edward Norton. He doesn't think um, Hollywood owes him anything. Do you know what I mean? He's just like he's very appreciative. Even the interviews of him when he was in Terminator Two as a young kid, he comes across as a real cool young kid. Do you know what I mean? He's he's not just playing himself. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm not, maybe I'm not explaining, um, but yeah, this interview, uh, and then Edward Furlong said, oh yeah, like the last time we talked, so I thought, oh, maybe he's done other interviews, so that's how I got into it, I looked in, I clicked on his channel, I think he's three interviews with Edward Furlong, and then he does some other interviews, he interviewed, um, like a director or something, I wasn't fussed on him, he was, came across as a bit of a 
a bit arrogant, let's say. Um, but yeah, and this uh, Alex Labour, he's made a movie apparently. So uh, he's obviously really passionate about that industry, you know. So um, and he seems like a really funny guy as well. So go check his channel. I'll do my best. If it lets me ch tag it, I will. Do you know what I mean? Maybe they'll ask me why you're tagging me, your little tiny little channel. But um, oh, the other thing I liked as well. Sorry, I'm talking about this. Uh, it's uh, it's nice to discover a new YouTube channel, you know. So like this Alex Labour. He was interviewing these other YouTubers. I've never heard of them, but they seem quite a big deal. They were nice people. And the banter again was really good. And he was talking about, he had his YouTube channel when he was in high school. So he's an American um, person, YouTuber. And um, it, after a while, people in his school found out about his YouTube channel and they started to bully him about it. But fair play to you for keeping going, do you know what I mean? Because YouTube, he's probably earning a living now off of the back of his YouTube channel, but he, and most people, if they didn't have a fucking backbone or the strength he's got, would have just fucking deleted their account. I mean, okay, I deleted it, they'll forget about it, they can't pick on me or make fun of me anymore, you know? But so, yeah, check out his channel, Alex Labour as well, okay? So, what have I been reading? I haven't read hardly anything. I've uh, finished uh, volume one of Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games. It was almost as if I never read. I completely forgotten about it. I'm not saying that in a negative way. It really is good fun. Uh, what I couldn't remember is I remember there were been three girls in their little fighting game club. There was actually four. So that's, it was worth reading that. I nearly finished. I got that much to go of volume two. Uh, and I remember now why, uh, it's all come back to me now, I remember why I was so excited for Volume 3 uh, is because there's um, a tournament that they're going to enter. So there's four of them, um, and they've got a really cool hiding place where they can play fighting games. They're, hard, they're getting hardly any sleep. They're doing their schoolwork, trying to stay awake, do their homework, and then it's like, right, in one of their dorm rooms, uh, because they're like, uh, these two characters are the newer characters. They're like... Um, like what we call over here is like a prefect so they get like extra privileges and one of the privileges is a boarding school they get a room of their own so they can play fighting games in their own room where in all the other uh students share a room so they it's they gotta be careful can they trust the, their roommate not to tell on them or stuff like that you know so uh yeah so they are there's quite a few flashbacks uh to how they got into fighting games so i really appreciate but um, yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure volume three, I hope it is, hope they don't drag it out anymore, is there's a comp, there's a tournament that they're going to enter and uh, hopefully they do well, you know, because uh, they're all pretty good now because they're always competing and against each other, you know. So yeah, I've uh, that's what I've been reading. Uh, God, 23 minutes this video is so far. Um, yeah, I think we'll cut it off there. I'm probably going to plan to watch tonight uh, I'm gonna play some of that I gotta be honest I'm either gonna love or hate it you know but I want to watch the berserk movie that I picked up you know and if if that it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's got guts in it you know um, then I'm gonna hopefully crack on with the Ghost in the Shell series that I've recently picked up then well that'll probably be fill my week up next week uh, yeah, I'll keep you up to. I'll keep you posted about Tech and Tuesday as well. What time it'll be if it's going to be live, but it is hard as well because um, we've got busy lives, you know. And maybe um, Friday I was going to do Street Fighter Friday, but I had food shop income, and I came. It, I booked it in. I know it's an exciting story, isn't it? I booked it in between seven and nine o'clock Friday night. And he must have come me about five to nine. <laughs> I was gutted. So I no, I was going to do Street Fighter Friday. But I'm going to change that. I think I'm going to call it Friday Night Fights. Not like Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Fights. So I can play any fighting game I want. So SNK are locked in for my Sundays. Tekken games are for Tuesdays. So if I want to play Injustice, Street Fighter, whatever, Melty Blood, whatever I want to play on a Friday... I can play it's going to be Friday Night Fight, Bambino. There we are. We'll uh, thank you very much, anyone that's going to watch. Um, hopefully, I'll tag those amazing YouTubers. Don't shout to me, you. 
<laughs> I look up to you guys, all right? Uh, so I mean it. Uh, come from uh, with peace and love, let's say. Yeah, we'll cut it off there. As always, love you back.